What is up guys? The video you're about to see is a video I filmed the same day I posted my last video. I was actually waiting for flags to go up on my tip-ups. Meanwhile, I was jigging for some crappie, so I caught some nice crappie. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I wanted to post something a little different. I've never actually made a crappie video. Uh, I want to try to branch out and fish some different species in the area uh, if I can. So with that being said, if you guys have any suggestions for um, species you want me to uh, try to catch, either ice fishing or in the open water season, just let me know. Leave me a comment below and I'll try my best to make those types of videos. I just want to keep them interesting, keep switching things up a little bit as much as I can. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. There we go. First fish on, guys. I'm using this little plastic today. I'm jigging the lay down. And it's a big bluegill, wow. Not what I was looking for. I'm looking for some crappie today. But, uh, it's not a bad, not a bad fish to start it off with. Got on this little, uh, it's like a 64th ounce, uh, like, I don't know what it's really called. It's a little grub imitation, uh, a little soft plastic and a jig head. There he is, not a bad gill. Hopefully we're gonna get some big crappie though. There we go, that's a, that, I bet that's a crappie. He hit slack in the line, lots of times he'll do that, he'll grab it up. And yep, there we go, that's a nice crappie guys. That's what we're after. Like I said, I knew that was a crappie because he's bump slacking my line. Lots of times these crappie will come up, they'll swim up, and then they'll grab the jig from below it. And so that way, um, if you're dropping it above them, that's what will happen. And then uh, you'll see a slack in your line versus a bluegill, which will, you'll see your line get pulled tighter and it will bend your rod tip. So uh, real nice crappie. That's awesome. And again, I got him on that little grub plastic with a small jig head. Awesome looking fish. Get it back. There we go. I bet it's another crappie. Again, he hit it and they weren't slack on my line. Let's see. Crappie, 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 crappie. And it's crappie. Nice. That's another solid crappie. Nothing huge. But, uh, I mean, that's probably maybe 10 inches on that little grub again. Sweet. It was just a hair above 10 inches, so pretty uh, solid crappie, nothing big. Hopefully we can get some uh, 12, 13, maybe 14 inches. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, there you go. Making me look good, dude. There you go. There we go. Uh, I'm going to say it's a crappie. Let's see. I've been right every time so far. And there we go. Nice. That is awesome, guys. These are these aren't huge crappie, but they're definitely, I mean, these are good sized uh, crappie for sure. Or at least in my opinion from, I mean, I don't really catch them very much, so maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm sure there's people who come out of here, come out places and are able to catch 14 inches regularly. But for me, this is a good sized crappie. I've been here for maybe 30 minutes and I've already caught I think three nice crappie or three crappie about this size. So keep it up and maybe I can get into a real big one. Here he is. Great looking fish. Nice colors. They're uh, pretty sweet. They're kind of like a bass and bluegill mix in my opinion. But let's let her go. They always do that. They always sit in the hole. And he's going to take off in just a second here. Anytime buddy. You're making my video look bad. I swear I didn't keep him out for very long. Gone. You're free, dude. I could. Some most people will keep you. There we go. So I'm just watching my line. Once I see a tap, I'll watch it and I'll wait for that line to go slack. And that means if crappy grabbed it and they're swimming up, and then I'll uh, reel into him. And with crappie, you don't want to set the hook very hard because they're also called paper mouths. Their mouth is very soft. And if you're, you know, giving them a big hook set, lots of times you can rip it out of their mouth, um, which obviously will not be good for getting the fish in. There we go. Uh, I'm going to say bluegill. Let's see if I'm right. Oh man, first time, guys. I got one wrong. Oh, almost got a quick release for him. 
They're, these are all these crappie have been about the same size. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones once we maybe weed through the smaller guys. He's still not small. I'm still happy with this guy, but he's probably like 10, 11 inches. That's what they've all been about. Let's get it back in the water and catch some more. All right, just to show you guys while I'm fishing, here you can see there's a big stump that is a whole tree. I mean, it's a tree, like a big tree. And uh, right there, it comes all the way out here. And it gets really deep where there's a big drop off. It's about 25 feet where I'm standing right here. You can see it's not very far from the bank. And uh, you can see there are some little parts of the tree sticking out. And there's one over there as well, part of the tree. And then I'm sitting right here. So big, big tree, really big tree. And it's spread out over this whole section. And there's crappie, bluegill, everything pretty much is just suspending right around the branches, hanging out there. Really, really good cover for these crappie, especially to hang out in. And uh, makes it pretty easy to find them. Alright, it started to rain a little bit, so we set the shanty up, but hopefully, actually it might be done. <laughs> now that I got the shanty up, I think it's done raining, but whatever. We'll sit in the shanty for a little bit. There we go. What do you think, guys? Um, yep, that's an nicer crappie, that's a nicer one. That's a good crappie right there. Awesome, that's what we're looking for. Come on, stop, chill, chill, chill. It's okay, I know you're trying to get a nice snack and then you get pulled out of the water, now you can't breathe, but the quicker you cooperate. Check that out, guys. That's a big crappie. I'd, I'd say this one's, this is a footer. It's probably 12 inches. Sweet, nice, nice crappie. crappie. There he is, 12 inches. Real nice looking crappie. Beautiful looking fish and hopefully we can get some more of them like that. There we go. That feels like a better fish. Uh, what should we say guys, crappie or bluegill? I'm gonna say crappie. Let's see, let's see. Uh, it's crappie, nice. And grabbed from the transducer, of course. There we go. Not bad little crappie. See ya, buddy. There we go. That's hopeless is another crappie. It's been really slow. I haven't caught many, haven't gotten anything for a little while. And yeah, it's nice crappie again. Sweet. Another uh, cookie cutter. Basically uh, what we've been catching mostly. This one's off the bottom though. I'm not finding like a, you know, there's obviously a good school right here. I haven't moved. All these crappie I've caught have been in the same hole. But, you know, this, uh, I've been catching them. I'm in 24 feet of water right now. This one came about in 23 or 22 feet of water probably. And most of them have been catching, you know, I've been catching have been uh, anywhere from usually around 12 feet of water. Um, so they're about, they're suspended about halfway of the water column. Um, but that's partially also because I'm fishing on a really big laydown. There's a really big tree right next to me. So that's uh, part of the reason they're kind of hanging around that. Come on, dude, get down there. People are going to complain about me releasing fish that are going to die. There you go. Oh, I got one coming up. I'm in 19 feet of water right now. He's coming up for it quick. He's looking at it, and he's on. Uh, I'm gonna say it's crappie, just cause I've mostly caught crappie out of here. It wasn't a typical crappie bite like I was talking about earlier, but let's see. Yep, another crappie. Oh, he's going crazy. <clears throat> Wrapped in the transducer. Should probably take it out, but I don't wanna do that every time I get a fish. There's another guy, he's probably like 11 inches. A little above the average I've been catching, but Still no 14, 15 inch I'm after. They've got to be in here with how many of these guys I've been catching. There we go. Got our first fish on. I'm assuming it's crappie. Yikes. Uh, yeah, a little crappie. Dang it. Well, they were getting really finicky, so I switched to a little jig head, tungsten jig head with a minnow on there, you can see. 
and uh, seemed to work a little better. At least I got one fish, but I'm still looking for some bigger ones. We're gonna call that a video because the bite slowed down quite a bit and I didn't get any more quality fish I was looking for. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. As always, if you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment to let me know what you thought of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.